So all week we've been talking about these lies that have been generated from the MAGA Republicans in regards to Haitian immigrants out in Springfield, Ohio. Well, MSNBC has done a follow-up article, a news report, and has tracked down where the post originated from and spoke to the woman who put this lie out. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Tabitha Speaks Politics, and yes, we are still on the road to 100,000 subscribers. So if you've come across this video and are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I promise you won't be sorry. Now what I said in the intro is fact. MSNBC caught up with the woman who made these lies, these false rumors. She put it out on Facebook. Okay. And she thought that she could just be racist online and it wouldn't blow up to what it has blown up to today. Blown up to be put on a worldwide stage at the presidential debate the other night by Donald Trump. Of course, the lie and the rumor was, was spread to him through lying Laura Loomer. Anywho, let's read what this woman had to say. Um, here's the article right here. You can get to the article. I'll put a link down in the description box so you can share the article or you can just share this video and encourage your people to follow Tabitha Speaks Politics. Now, CNBC is reporting that the woman behind an early Facebook post spreading a harmful and baseless claim about Haitian immigrants eating local pets that helped thrust a small Ohio city into the national spotlight says she had no first-hand knowledge of any such incident and is now filled with regret and fear as a result of the ensuing fallout. The fallout being that innocent Haitian immigrants who were invited to move to Springfield, Ohio to reinvigorate the economy are now having to deal with threats from crazed MAGA Republicans. Mm -hmm. Threats, schools being shut down because of bomb threats, Local government facilities having to shut down because of bomb threats, all stemming from this woman who chose to go out onto the Internet to spew a racist lie. Quote, it just exploded into something I didn't mean to happen. End quote. This is Erica Lee. Oh, yeah, they put her name in the article. Erica Lee, a Springfield resident, told NBC News on Friday. Lee recently posted on Facebook about a neighbor's cat that went missing, adding that the neighbor told Lee she thought the cat was the victim of an attack by her Haitian neighbors. NewsGuard, a media watchdog that monitors misinformation online, found that Lee had been among the first people to publish a post to social media about the rumor, screenshots of which circulated online. The neighbor, Kimberly Newton, said she heard about the attack from a third party, NewsGuard reported. Newton told NewsGuard that Lee's Facebook post misstated her story that the owner of the missing cat was an acquaintance of a friend rather than her daughter's friend. Newton could not be reached for comment. Lee said she had no idea the post would become part of a rumor mill that would spiral into the national consciousness she had since deleted the Facebook post. Other posts have contributed to the false allegations, including a photo of a man holding a dead goose that was taken in Columbus, Ohio, but was spread by some online as evidence of the claims about Springfield. Graphic video of a woman who allegedly killed and tried to eat a cat was also found not to have originated in Springfield, but in Canton, 
Ohio, and does not have any connection to the Haitian community. Local police and city officials have repeatedly said there is no evidence of such crimes in Springfield, but that hasn't stopped the lies from spreading across the country and igniting a national frenzy that landed on the presidential debate stage this week. Former President Donald Trump has his running mate and his running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, who was born less than an hour away from Springfield, have repeated the baseless allegations. Lee said she never imagined her post would become fodder for conspiracy theories and hate. Quote, what do they always say after they get caught with their hands in the racist cookie jar? I'm not a racist, end quote. She said through heavy emotion, adding that her daughter is half black. And there she goes, using her daughter's ethnicity, her daughter's part racial makeup to prove that she is not racist. When we know that racist people married to black people we know racist people who have had black friends for years they continuously show us just how racist they are but continuing adding that her daughter is half black and she herself is mixed race and a member of the lgbtq community quote everybody seems to be turning it into that and that was not my intent end quote a lot of people need to learn impact versus intent what you intended may not be necessarily what impacts society listen we know that people of mixed race people who are closely tied to black people hell white masters back in slavery times were the racist of all races and yet they still had sexual relations with black women. White people who are of mixed race, people of color who are not black can continue and have proven themselves to be racist against black people. Anywho, down in the comments is where we continue the conversation. Y'all can get down in the comments and let me know your thoughts on what Erica Lee had to say in defense of her racist actions.